Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanna send a quick shout out to all those who liked, who viewed and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. Um, if you like this video, this video, continue to like and subscribe. Um, I also wanna send a great big shout out to Morris Brown College in Atlanta, Georgia, um, and congratulate them on the hard reset to Dr. Kevin James and to the alumni. Congratulations, way to go. I'm so excited for you guys. And if any of you all are ever in Atlanta, be sure to check out Morris Brown College. Way to go, Wolverines. I found a very simple recipe. I'm hoping that you'll share it with your family, um, your loved ones, your friends. Um, your kids will love to make it because it takes so little time. It only um, includes three ingredients, and that is one egg, one cup of sugar, and one cup of peanut butter. And from those three ingredients, you can add whatever other um, sweets you wanna add to it. Chocolate chip, um, you can dip them in chocolate, you can dip them halfway in chocolate, all the way in chocolate. You can literally make a Reese's peanut butter cup out of it. So these are the tools you'll need. You'll need some wire racks to cool the cookies once they come out of the oven. You'll need the baking sheet. I use the seal pad on it, but you can use um, baking paper or you can just use the pan. Um, I need a bowl of glass to crack the egg in just in case it's bad. I don't want to put it in the mix. Um, one cup of peanut butter. I've got a couple of chocolate chips on standby because I'm gonna make a second recipe while I finish the when I finish the first. I'm gonna use the ice cream scoop. First, we're gonna go ahead and add this cup of peanut butter to the bowl. I think this is a pretty cool measuring cup here. So we get all the peanut butter out. As I say, it's very simple. So. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the cup of sugar. Again, you're gonna need a couple of baking sheets. You're going to need an ice cream scooper um, and some wire wrap so that when the cookies come out of the oven, you can sit them on there to cool. And these are seal packs, just like the ones I had for the macarons, only they're plain, and you can also get those off of Amazon pretty cool measuring cup here. So we get all the peanut butter out. As I say, it's very simple. So then we're gonna go ahead and add the cup of sugar. Just kind of mix it together, fold it together. You can use a mixer if you like. So I'll put that there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg. The mixture gets a little thick, so I'm going to need a tool that will stand up to the mixing. As you can see, that one cup of sugar, one cup of peanut butter, and that one egg makes a lot of cookie dough. I'm going to start to spoon it onto the baking tray as well as go ahead and preset um, the oven at 350 degrees. Here we go. And I think you can place three in a row because the cookies don't spread a lot. And this is just the medium size ice cream scoop. So again, we'll take that fork and now we'll make the time marks on the cookie by pressing down.
So now I'm going to place them in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So for those cookies, I'm going to dip them in um, white chocolate or candy melts by Wilton. And you can put a little sprinkles on them or have the kids put sprinkles on them. I told you you could add anything to these peanut butter cookies. I'm preparing the melted chocolate um, for the cookies to be dipped in. So I put the bowl in the microwave and I microwave it for 15 seconds. I take it out, stir it around, put it back in for 15 more seconds just to make sure that it melts. And you have to do this part. If not, you can actually burn this chocolate really quickly. So be sure and take it out, stir it around really well until it's all mixed good together you may have to go back in for another five or ten seconds but nothing more than that so i put it back in the microwave for another 10 seconds and this is the consistency of it runs a little bit and now i'm going to put a little bit of oil in it uh, canola oil or crisco oil just to make it a little bit more um, loose. Um, so I'll add that. It doesn't affect the flavor. It just helps the chocolate to be a little thinner so that you don't have a glob on your cookie. So you want it to run. And I just add a little bit until it gets to where I need it to be. You can also add coconut oil, but I don't use the coconut oil because I don't want my peanut butter chocolate chip cookie to taste like coconut. And so I think that's the consistency that we're looking for. And we'll start to dip these cookies. I laid down a large piece of parchment paper that I also bought off of Amazon um, and kind of built the edge around all four sides so that once I dip the cookie, the excess chocolate will drain to the bottom of the paper. I won't have to clean off the counter. Also, because I have sprinkles here that I'm gonna add to the cookies as well and to keep them from rolling all over and under the counter. So I'll begin to dip the cookie and place the sprinkles on it and you have to place the sprinkles on while the icing is still wet so I'll dip the cookie oops I dipped it too long So here are the cookies. These are the peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter cookie, peanut butter cookie, and the purple are chocolate chip peanut butter cookie with some purple decorations in honor of Morris Brown College. And um, the regular peanut butter cookie, um, I just spread white um, icing, a chocolate over it and place sprinkles on it. So. You don't have to do any of the extra, just bake the cookie. I'm gonna up the baking time to 16 minutes. You'll have to watch the cookie depending on the thickness of it. Um, so you'll know when it's ready. And thanks for watching. So instead of dipping, I'm going to just drizzle the chocolate on there. Sometimes the candy melts don't cooperate, but you always find another way. Hold the entire cookie by the bottom and apply 
the icing because the cookie has no flour. The only binder is the peanut butter. But as long as you hold it, it'll be just fine. And these are the peanut butter cookie that have peanuts in them. There was peanuts in the peanut butter. And again, because that parchment paper is down, it's going to catch any of the extra. So I'll finish these up and come back. And there the cookies are. I also made the batch of peanut butter chocolate chip. I'll show that to you as well. So now I'll decorate the chocolate chip. And there are the cookies. Enjoy. And there you have it, the three ingredient basic peanut butter cookie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, bye bye.